to run Batch and Print Pro from a website to print files from the internet uh, to a local printer on the user's machine. This is totally over a web browser. Now we go to ActiveX Run From Web on our website. It's first recommended to install the ActiveX control beforehand. This saves any problems with it installing within the browser later on. Now to do that, just click on that link there. Run. Yes. And that's it. Now that should be installed now. If you go into Tools, Manage Add ons, you can see that the Batch and Print Pro X controller is there, ready and running. So now we can go on to run the web. And you can see our live example here. Let's click here. Now the first time it runs, it will install, download, and install Batch and Print Pro because it's not installed on this machine already. What this is doing, it's transferring the uh, Batch and Print Pro XE install to the Windows Temp folder, and then once it's downloaded, it it will run it automatically. Now it's asking to install it. Yes, this is just the first time only that you need to do this. And now it's gone ahead and installed it. Close that. Now, if I go on to, uh, I need to look at the printers. It's currently set to Xerox. So I've printed a test file already. Um, to, I shall go back to the browser there. As you can see, it's printed a test file again. And just click Submit. And it will print another file. Now, if you look at the source code, you can see that it's downloading this file from here from our website test PDF to uh, C Windows temp and then it's called the Batch Print Pro with these parameters here to print the actual file locally on a local printer. Um, if you've got any questions then email us.